Hello, this is Sophia. Um, today we're going to make a really cute and quick Christmas card. And this is what it's going to look like. And because we're going to be cutting our paper to make triangles, we can actually make two cards out of our materials. Okay, so what you'll need for the two cards is you'll need two red card bases. Now this red is Basil cardstock and it's called Devil, or sorry, Red Devil. And I've cut it at four and a quarter by five and a half, and it's 80 pound. My card panels are in white, and both are cut at four by five and a quarter inches. And these are just 65 pound weight, kind of no name, I guess. I buy it from Amazon in packages of 500 because the shipping is really cheap. Uh, next, you're going to need a square that's cardstock of four and one quarter by four and one quarter, and also a square of your pattern paper, four by four. This pattern paper is from Pebbles Inc. I don't know if they're actually around anymore, but uh, I have quite a bit of their paper from years ago, so you might see some more Pebbles Inc. paper from me. And the last little square here is two and three quarter inches. Okay, so the first thing we want to do, I'm just gonna move this out of the way. Move this up here. Okay, we are going to cut our paper here. And we're, how we're going to cut them is straight down from corner to corner, okay? All on all three. Okay, so. Now one thing you have to be careful when you're cutting these that I find is if you have it at the top and you start to cut this way, sometimes your blade will catch quite will catch on these corners and make them really kind of weird looking so i'm just going to move it down a bit now remember you've got to line up your corners line your corners up with your line here on each side now if you have a guide which i do a metal guide just line it up with that make sure you hold your bar down really tightly now i'm going to lift my my um blade up a little bit because I don't want to start cutting at the top here. I just want to cut so it comes out really nice with no twisted edges and whatnot. Okay, so we'll do it to all three. Here's the second one, the pattern paper. I'm lining it up corner to corner. I'm going to lift my blade up first and line that up. And one more, the cardstock. Now you can use, of course, any pattern paper or cardstock color that you choose. This is just a, a guideline. Okay. Once you have these um, cut, it's very, the card assembles very quickly. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is we are going to grab our patterned paper and we are gonna line it up to this long edge. So we're gonna line it up to the long edge and just make sure that it's even on both sides so that your um, mat here is the same. Okay, now we just take it apart and ruin that <laughs> room where we had it. We have to do it all over again. Okay, if you want a really good glue, check out this Barely Art glue. You don't need much, and it, it once it once it adheres, it's it doesn't come off. But it does give you a little bit of wiggle room, so you can move things around while you're trying to set it up. So we're going to do it. Line it up with the point as well, and then make sure you're lined up at the bottom. And you can always move it if it isn't. Okay, that's done. Okay, now let's do it to the other one. Okay, so I didn't quite get it to the edge here. And so a little bit of red is showing and, and that's perfectly fine. We're going to, we can snip that off later. Actually, we'll just do it right now. Just... Oh, 
Okay, close enough. Now what we're going to do is take our panel and we're going to line up this one red one first. We're gonna put it kind of in the center. So watch, sorry, watch on both sides where it's going to go. And I just eyeball it. You can measure it if you like. Um, there we go. Okay, and we're going to do the same with the other card. Now, as you notice with the other triangle, sorry, when you notice, you'll notice when we go to put this card on that it's going to come off the edges of the panel. This triangle. Okay, so what we're going to do. It is gonna come off the edges on either side. So but try and line it up with the triangle so you kinda of even here as well. And then just press that down and voila, we can just snip off the edges. So, and I have glue on my thumb and ink, so I, it's, it's a good thing it's going on the back of my card because it could be disastrous. Okay. So now that we have that done, I'm just going to snip this again. Just a smidgen. There we go. Okay, so now that we have this done, let's decide what we're going to put in the middle here. And what I've done on this one, as you can see, I used my pattern paper to cut out a scalloped circle and then a, just a, a round circle to go underneath it. So take your punch and you want to line it up. I'm gonna to try to find a red piece here, here we go. So I want a red in the middle. Oops, just a second, I got the wrong punch. <laughs> I'm using a one and a half inch punch and these are EK Success. Now you can use your dies, that's perfectly fine. I just, these were handy so I just didn't bother with the dies. Um, okay, so when you think you have it about right, pop it out. Now take your other, I think this is two inch, and just pop it out of a piece of red cardstock, circle, like so. Okay, now I'm going to glue this circle. On top of yeah, the red one. Okay, now to put it down in the middle here, I'm going to use some foam squares here, strips cut into little pieces. Okay. Now one thing when you're using foam dots or foam uh, rectangles or whatever shape, just remember that these, they're double-sided but when you put them down, they pretty much stay where they're going. So you have to be careful when you're using them because you'll tear your paper trying to get them off. So I'm just gonna take the backing off here. Oops, all off. Okay, now we're just gonna line this up. I didn't cut that very straight, or is that just my eyes? Looks weird, okay. All right, next what we wanna do is put our sentiment on the card. Now to put the sentiment on, you can do, you can use your stamping platform, you can put whatever sentiment you want on here. Um, what I've done is I've actually used my Word um, doc and I've printed a lot of, let's see if you can see this, doesn't want to zoom in or there we go um what i did was i just went into a word document and i picked a font that i liked and i i typed in merry christmas and i just did it in all different sizes filled the whole page with them and then cut them out super simple super simple now this one is a little bit bigger than the one that i showed you here you can also i've also done other ones that like for example Happy Holidays, maybe I'll put that there, that's cute. 
Okay, so I'm just going to glue that down. Okay, whoops. Right. Just going to put it right under there. Oops. There. Not bad. Now you should see the glue that I actually put on here. If you do though, if you happen to get your glue in a spot you don't want it, we have these little rubbery erasers and you just go over top and what it does is it removes the glue from your paper, just like that. Okay, so now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to put this card, panel on the base. Okay, so there's my card. How quick and easy was that? Now on the inside, I'm just gonna grab this panel here. On the inside, you can put another panel inside so that you can actually see. So there's the card and there you have it. I made an extra couple of cards so you can see just by changing out the paper, it totally changes the card. I hope you enjoyed this video. We'll talk soon and bye for now.